Welcome to another installment of Dumpster Fire here on YouTube on our Fighting for the Faith channel. Just I'll get this out right uh, immediately. Go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. I don't know if you've ever been taught what we're going to be uh, previewing here. In fact, this is going to be one of those special kind of dumpster fires. We're going to put this in the category of the delusion zone. You unlock this door with the key of frustration. Beyond it is our current world. A world of heretics. In Christ Jesus, just like God. A world of fake miracles. And we just had a confirmed resurrection of the dead. A world of lies. You're moving into a land of both shady dealings and falsehoods. You've just crossed over into the delusion zone. Yeah, all of that being said, um, what we're going to be covering are two things today, and it's like the biblical refutation is uh, tough to do on the surface because it, this is just, you know, bat guano crazy is what we're talking about here. But uh, let me set this up by uh, taking a look at a biblical text, and our biblical text is going to be taken from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. We're going to note a couple of features of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 uh, as we uh, set up what we're going to be looking at. We will be uh, hearing from Jennifer LeClaire today as well as Todd White. And, uh, and so this is a prophecy by the Apostle Paul regarding the last days and what many have referred to through Christian history as the Great Apostasy. We'll talk about that. But uh, here's what the Apostle Paul writes to the, uh, the church at Thessaloniki. He says, Now concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to him, we ask you, brothers, not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed either by a spirit or a spoken word or by a letter seeming to be from us to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. So let no one deceive you in any way. That's a, we'll just say that's some good advice here. Our whole YouTube channel is based upon this concept. For that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first. Greek word for rebellion, by the way, is apostasia. Apostasia, so this is where you get the concept of the great apostasy. And this is a rebellion that takes place within the visible church. And it has to be within the visible church due to the fact that pagan unbelievers are already at war with God. So the rebellion takes place within visible Christianity. So uh, the day of the Lord uh, will not take place until the rebellion comes first, and then the man of lawlessness is revealed. This is the fellow who is uh, many refer to as the Antichrist. So he's going to show up as well. And he's the son of destruction, who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called god or object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. Now, do you uh, not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things, and you know what's restraining him now so that he may reve be revealed in his time? For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains it will do so until he is out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing by the, uh, by the appearance of his coming." And now here's kind of the, the part we're going to focus in on. The coming of the lawless one is by the activity of Satan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. So, so he's coming, and, uh, and so in, in preparation, groundwork laying, foundation laying for the lawless one, this is the activity of Satan with all power and false signs and wonders. Now, I want to point this out to you in the Greek. In fact, let me make the Greek just a little bit. Uh, bigger, and here's what it says, um, and, and so, in, 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 in passe, duname kai se me ois, kai pas uh, terasin sudus, all right, now, I know it's like Greek to you, but uh, let me kind of translate what this last part here, um, in all power, okay, and signs and wonders, se meos, uh, se meos, and uh, terasin, this is uh, signs, this is uh, wonders, and signs and wonders false, 
false signs, false wonders. The, uh, the pseudus at the end of the sentence means it's distributed uh, to both the signs and the wonders. So the coming of the lawless one is by the power, the dunamis, the activity of Satan, uh, and with, all, with false signs, false wonders. We'll see that today. And with all wicked deception for those who are perishing because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. Therefore, God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false. Mm -hmm. in order that they may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So, you know, in preparation for, during the, uh, in, in preparation for the arrival of the lawless one, as the apostasia, it, the apostasy is growing, what you expect to see is um, uh, a, a proclivity, a plethora, yeah, a plethora of false signs, false wonders, and just, absolute signs of a strong delusion, which I think we will demonstrate both here shortly. Uh, now, case in point for all of this, we'll start with Jennifer LeClaire, the former uh, editor of Charisma Magazine. She's now struck, off, uh, struck out on her own. She's got the Awakening House of Prayer. She does her own thing on YouTube and stuff. And she was recently in London and did a, a, a vlog, a video log from London. And while there, she was noting, noting the fact that there are water spirits all over the place. Yeah, I'm, I'm not making this up, but this is really kind of bizarre. And what she's really doing is plugging her new book. But uh, let's listen in as Jennifer LeClaire finds water spirits at, at Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, remember I've been talking to you in the last vlog about water spirits, and here behind me we see what essentially is a merman spirit. <laughs> so everywhere you go in the world, you see the operations of the... That's not a merman spirit. That is just a depiction, an artistic depiction of a merman. Oh, blast us! We're too late! There's a big difference between an artistic depiction of a merman and an actual merman spirit. It's not like you're, you know, ghost hunters or something, and you've got actual video footage of a merman spirit, you know, yeah, and you're doing an EVP session where you, you're communicating with the merman spirit or something like that. Yeah, no, that's, not, that's not a merman spirit. That's just an artistic depiction of a merman. Yeah. Jezebel, you see the operation. Okay, gotta back this up. Okay, yeah, just gotta back this up. Yeah, there's Buckingham Palace. Hey guys, remember I've been talking to you in the last vlog about water spirits, and here behind me we see what essentially is a merman spirit. So everywhere you go in the world, you see the operations of the spirit of Jezebel. You see the operations. Of yeah, see, see, that's proof of the operations of the spirit of Jezebel, man. Who knew? It's right there at Buckingham Palace. Oh, man, it's, the world's going to come to an end. Water spirits. Uh, this is a merman spirit, which in the Bible is Dagon. You can now, granted, Dagon was depicted like a merman. That's literally his depiction. But nobody's worshipping that thing that you're pointing to there at the fountain at Buckingham Palace. It's just a depiction of a merman, you know? In fact... After the, the the Little Mermaid, the Disney version of the Little Mermaid, most people are probably going to think that that's Ariel's father. You know, <laughs> there's no worshiping going on there. Read about Dagon. It was the god that the Philistines uh, uh, served, and so I talk a lot more about the merman spirit, which is essentially like a mermaid, but the, the male is called the merman. And I'll show you a picture. Only if he self-identifies as a merman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he could be a Mirza. Anyway. <clears throat> ...here uh, in just a minute. Oh, it's evil! It's evil! <sighs> this is nuts. 
So yeah, that's the, the merman spirit. I encourage you to go to read about that. We've got a brand new book coming out on this. Uh, it's called Spiritual Warrior's Guide to Defeating Water Spirits. They're also called Mer <laughs> How has Christianity survived for two millennia without an effective strategy for defeating water spirits? I mean, clearly, uh, the... Uh, the House of Windsor has fallen for this, or yeah, it's, it's, I don't even know if that's the right way of putting that. But anyway, yeah, the, the 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 folks, you know, the Queen of England and you know Elizabeth and her family, they've all fallen for. They are, are worshippers of water spirits, apparently, because you know the fountain at Buckingham Palace. Now, we're gonna switch gears here for a second. We'll come back to uh, to London and uh, Jennifer Leclerc. We're gonna head to Israel. And uh, and Todd White recently put out a um, a free movie on his YouTube channel titled Pure and Holy, and th this whole thing is a total train wreck. But we're going to show the obvious charlatan charlat charlat yeah uh, charlatan tree. Is that a word? <laughs> Yeah, probably not. <laughs> he's a charlatan. He's a con artist is what he is. And uh, he's going to be engaging in the miracle of leg lengthening. Yeah, and he's got the, these uh, young school-age boys there in Israel. He's going to uh, lengthen their legs. And uh, we'll, we'll, we're going to put this back under the category of, well, this is a false sign and false wonder. This is just a parlor trick that he's engaging in. This is nothing miraculous. But Todd White wants the folks there in Israel to think, oh, he can operate in signs and wonders and miracles and thingies and stuff like that. Let's uh, watch one of these uh, so-called healings. Okay. One of, can I use this chair? You see his leg? One is longer. Look. Come look. You see? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, this kid. I don't know how he's be able to function. You see? You see one is longer. Yes? You see? Watch. Yes, the right one's shorter. This one's shorter. Watch. All right, we're watching. In the name of Yeshua. Right leg, grow. Right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, it, can you believe that? I mean, this kid now will finally be able to have a normal life. Um, the, uh, the, the documentary, American Gospel, Christ Alone, if you have not seen it, it is a must-see. Um, by the way, I happen to also make an appearance or two in that particular documentary, but my friend Stephen Kozar of the Pirate Christian Gang here, he actually made an appearance and um, and demonstrated how Todd White does his leg lengthening. Uh, let's listen in from the American Gospel documentary as, uh, as, as my friend Stephen Kozar explains how this is done. Now we're going to see Todd White's clip sped up quite a bit and looped back and forth. Now this is where we can see what's really going on here. The leg on our right is supposed to be the short leg, and this is the leg which should be miraculously growing, but it's not. Look at the leg on our left. That's where all he's doing is taking the foot and bending the angle down and, and raising in you know changing the angles to make it look like they're uh, yeah that the that the one leg is growing. The action is that's what's actually being manipulated. You can see that Todd is actually pivoting or shifting the foot of the so-called long leg yep. so that the heels match. Now he's doing this very slowly over time, but it's painfully obvious when you speed up the clip. Yeah, that's how he does it. So that's what he did with his kid. He just just pivoted the uh, the foot off the ankle just a little bit differently. And voila, now we have a miracle in Israel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Bend up and check. Bend. Yeah, that, that's what we will call a uh, false sign, false wonder. Yeah, this is actually prophesied by the Apostle Paul uh, regarding the coming of the lawless one, kind of greasing the skids <clears throat> in preparation for the Antichrist himself. False signs, false wonders, like a parlor trick like this where Todd may, puts himself forward as, oh, a miracle working. Of course, lifestyle Christianity is all about 
a, a lifestyle of of miracles and signs and wonders and stuff. And you know, you know, Todd White he practices what he preaches. No, this is just straight up, you know, con artist, you know, con job, you know, parlor trick kind of stuff. All right, coming back to Buckingham Palace, uh, not Buckingham. We're gonna head over to uh, the the next portion of this video blog from London as uh, Jennifer Leclerc now has gone into a bookshop in 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 anticipation and looking for more water spirits. So here we are in Trafalgar Square. You gotta check out the bookstores everywhere I go in the world. Yeah, Traf the area around Trafalgar Square. Yeah, the bookstores are fantastic. In fact, the whole shops out behind Trafalgar Square and that whole section of London, they're amazing. This is most certainly true, but uh, what is she talking about? I like to see what people are reading, yeah. what people are into. It's different, kind of different choices in different places, so it's all very heady and well, I don't know, behavioral. So uh, we'll keep looking around. Quid spirit, really? He's the kind of thing people understand. Oh, there it is, folks. It's the sneaky squid. <laughs> oh, no. She found him on a book cover in London near Trafalgar Square. <gasps> it's unbelievable. What is happening to the world? It's a water spirit, and we've written about. No, that that looks like an octopus to me. That's that's not a water spirit. That's it, it, that's an octopus. Mm -hmm. I've talked about this. It's in my new book, defeating water spirits. So here, before I go around the world, I see people celebrating these things. Oh no! See, it's a celebration of a water spirit. Yeah, any depiction of any kind of marine life can be considered the praising and adulation of water spirits and uh, my book's gonna knock this one off yeah there you go so her book's gonna knock that one off yeah one more todd white miracle just to balance out this video <laughs> wow, wow. wow. <laughs> oh this kid's so impressed you fixed me by Rotating my ankles. No, let me go. My turn. My turn. My turn. His, uh, his back. What is yes. the name of your challenge? Uh, tag life. No, lifestyle Christianity. Lifestyle Christianity. Sit back the whole way. Scoot. No, scoot your butt. Yeah. It's the same. Oh, oh, yeah. This, it's epidemic, folks. School age boys of Israel, this, this something in the water causing one leg to be longer than the other. This? But thankfully, God sent Todd White to Israel to fix this horrible medical malady that is afflicting young boys of Israel. You see? It's the other... And you can see, I mean, notice here uh, on the left-hand foot, you know, He's clearly taken that foot and like, you know, twisted it down. And the other one he's got pivoted up just enough, you know, that you can see that, oh, there's a difference. This is short. Which one's short? This, this one. No, the right, the right. You see his heels right here? Oh, terrible. You see? This is, this is almost as good as when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. You see? Yes. You see, it's short. So it's hurting his back because his back is hurt because his short leg. Watch. Ready? Okay, here we go. I want you guys to all say this with me. He's, he's now going to pivot his ankles. Okay, say this. In the name of Jesus, In the name of Jesus. we command this right leg to grow. We command this right leg to grow. <laughs> yeah, he, oh wow this is, this is this is just like lazarus being raised from the dead this is a parlor trick in fact on youtube there's there there are other channels you know there was an, an actual documentary that showed different ways in which the leg lengthening miracle actually takes place this is not a miracle jesus had nothing to do with that 
that's Todd White basically pulling a fast one and you know you know videoing it for his movie uh, Pure and Holy and uh, there was nothing pure and holy about that in fact like I pointed out from scripture the coming of the lawless one is with the is by the activity of Satan with all power and false signs and false wonders mm -hmm. and the strong delusion so that people might believe what is false you know the strong delusion like you know Buckingham Palace has water spirits <laughs> or that any depiction of a of a marine animal is somehow praising and lauding water spirits yeah this is just nonsense this is the activity that uh, that the holy spirit through the apostle paul warned us to look out for you know as the apostasy is ramping up and it it's here yeah so it's here what do you do protect yourself you don't want to be deceived in any way these people are charlatans they're not christians they are con artists not pastors or preachers or teachers who are telling you the truth they're leading you away and astray and leading you towards hell rather than Christ. Think about it. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please share the video. All the information on how to share it is down below. Of course, all the information also on how you can support the ministry of Pirate Christian Media is with the links on how you can join our crew and other things. Those are listed down below as well. So until next time, may God richly bless you in the grace and mercy won by Jesus Christ and his vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins. Amen. Amen.